audio jungle. Hi guys and girls, welcome back to the channel and episode 7 of an Englishman Abroad back in the Thai League with Buriram United. Just before we get into the action today, I want to give a quick shout out to PSEC Kits who has designed our custom Buriram United 2021 home, away and third strips. If you need anything for your football manager needs, PSEC Kits can sort it. Just football manager graphics, custom club logos, bespoke kit collections for your save, whether it be real life teams as by Ram United or custom teams, fantasy teams, whatever you need, hit him up. I'll leave a link in the description below to his Twitter. Send a DM, you'll get first class service from a first class guy. Again, many thanks to PSEC Kits for our brilliant Bull Ram United 2021 jerseys. So, in the last video, we said we'd be skipping on. And forward to today's two cup games. We play Chiang Mai United in the League Cup fourth round. We then go on and play the second leg of the All San Champions League second round tie. Uh, from the first game there, we drew 2 2. We had a 2 0 lead in the first half, managed to blow that somehow by conceding two goals in the second half. Even played against 10 men for the last 10 minutes. Couldn't make our advantage of numbers count. We've continued our brilliant form in the league. We had a 9-0 FA Cup fourth round game as well, which was exciting. Hopefully we haven't used up all of the goals in that game. And we can continue some free-flowing scoring, which resulted in us beating Chambury 6-2 last time out in the Thai League. So let's get into the first of the two games for today's video. So we've gone full rotation for today's game in the Cups. It's not really our priority. We want to get the League 1 and get as far as we can in that Champions League. So a bit of rotation here. This is the lineup that we've got. One player that stands out is Omar Damber up front. He's a free transfer signing that I bought in at the end of the transfer window. Haven't had a chance to register him for the first team and I actually didn't realise he could play in Cup games. So he's going to be making his uh, Boy Ram United debut today. Fingers crossed he might show a spark up front because our forwards have not been the best in this save. It would be a nice surprise if we could uh, get one in. I've actually signed in before in saves for lower league teams, so I don't know what his standard is going to be like coming across to this league. Uh, I've played him in the Panorama North, the Panorama Conference, League One, at least so League Two and League One, and he did score goals in all of those. So I'm hoping if Tyler kind of compares to those, he might be able to do a, a job for us. He has been kicking around in the reserves for a little bit, so he might not be at 100% match fitness. But I'm absolutely chuffed to be able to get him in the lineup today because I didn't realise that I could do that. So he's a welcome addition to the team. So we've got a corner to start, swinging in, it's headed out. Kelic gets the ball, plays it in field, back out, some one twos, goes inside to Jaded, spreads the play out wide, comes in through the middle, have a shot, keeper gets down, turns it around for a corner from the first action, and from the corner it's swung in, Gallo picks the ball up, tries a wild shot that goes miles wide, not too sure why he's just having a pop shot from there, bit of a crazy one, we've got the ball now with Gallo, who's had another shot from outside the box. This time, luckily, it's on target, but straight at the goalkeeper, so nothing doing. Although, after five minutes, having two shots on target is positive. I think Chiang Mai are actually in the division below, so we are expected to win comfortably here, which was why we took the gamble with the Champions League game coming up to just fully rotate our squad. Put the ball now in the midfield. Gallo lays it off. Ball over the top to Damba. Can't get on it and it goes straight through to the goalkeeper. Who lumps it back up the field. Straight to our defence. Plays it forwards. Out to the wing. Gets to the byline. Instead of trying to pass or cross, it runs into the defender. And then out of nowhere, Thanorsorn has just hit a rocket from 
all of 30 yards, perhaps. One touch out to Gallo. Back to him, touch out his feet. And bang, picked that out the net. That's a bit of a screamer. This kid might be one to watch, actually, as well. Played him in a game. I think it might be the 9-0 Cup game where we rotated. And he actually scored a hat-trick from that attacking midfield. Second striker kind of role. So, fingers crossed. We might have a few youth players that look quite promising. Which would be nice. Because, like I keep saying, if we can develop our team with Thai players, then hopefully that will pull up the national team and then if the standard of the national team can go up, then hopefully we'll uh, improve our youth intakes and everything, which would be good. So hopefully somewhere down the line, if we do well in this save, might even end up being offered the Thai job at some point, which would be nice to be able to try and lead the country to a World Cup. Back to today's video, not thinking too far in advance. We're doing the usual of dominating, and now we've got a corner against us. It's swung in, it's cleared, and it's left Damba one on one. Dance past the defender, and just like that, Omar Damba scored on his debut in a devastating counter attack by Buriram United as it declares at the bottom. Don't know what the defender's trying to do, he's just backing away, backing away, leaves Damba in on goal, one on one, left footed. In off of the far post. And that's a brilliant moment. Maybe, just maybe, we have the answer to the striking problems in the squad already. However, because he is a foreign player, and restricted with the amount of foreign players we can actually register and play in the Thai League to try and help with the development of the national game. Um, don't know whether we can play him or whether we have to try and get somebody else who's better and maybe release him. But uh, that's something to think of when we have a transfer special later on down the line, which I've found out the transfer window actually opens on the 1st of August. We've got a few transfers lined up to come in at the start of that window as well. So hopefully changing a few things might have to, as I alluded to in the last episode, change some of the foreign players around as well. So we've got a highlight here where we all sprayed out to the right comes to nothing though as we run into trouble in the penalty area. Gallo's now got the ball. He runs into the penalty area. Goes to ground. Looks like this could be a penalty. We've got VAR in the Thai League for the Cup League Cup games. So ref checks for a penalty. And he has awarded us a penalty. So Bruno Gallo is nominated to take the penalties. A step up and he's it left footed and puts it down to the keeper's right to make it 3 0. So, for once in the series, our dominance seems to be paying off, albeit against the team from the division below and with a rotated squad, which is, is, is good news. Means that the squad depth that I should pop. I hope it was right at the start. He's quite good. So the goalie's kicked it out. Only gets to the halfway line. We're back in. and Try another shot from outside the box. The keeper's comfortably dealt with. But again, he's lobbed it forward. It's come down and they're attacking. They take it off them. Try to play it over the top of Damber again. Jaded's now on the ball. Slide tackle failed. Jaded's had a shot from outside the box and that's gone wide as well. So we are having so many shots. And we really have dominated in the first half, which is pleasing to see. So we're not going to make any changes at half time. Don't feel the need to. Uh, do that. I don't know what my assistants just said there, but our players are all demotivated. Might not be a good thing. Oh, my Damba looks angry up front. And there's a few other angry faces down the bottom here. Quite interesting. It's probably the one downside to leaving your assistant manager to do 
team talks and media responsibilities, you never know what they're going to say, so it could affect the morale of the team. But still, Dan was in on goal now, and he's done it again. Pretty much carbon copy goal. Ball over the top. Just took a bounce. As it's landed. Just took one touch towards the goalkeeper and then hit it. Left foot, hard and low, inside the post. Make it 4-0 on the day. That's his second of the game. Our dominance really is showing through here now. Had 19 shots with 9 on target and a 1.96 xG with the 4 goals on the board. Might look at resting jaded, maybe Gallo, first teamers who are definitely going to play in that Champions League game. So we'll put Sarah Chat on. Gallo. Who else? Yeah, I think. Oh, I'm a little bit stuck. I think I'm going to bring Sepovic on behind Damba. Just to give Jaded a little bit of rest. Just to make sure he doesn't become jaded, as the game will reliably tell you when your players are. Might be a bit of a risk putting Sepovic on with his injury history. Seems to get injured quite a lot. Not a good sign. Which means that we have actually, or we are looking at lining up a striker to come in as well. One of the things I have realised, and I can't believe it's took me this long to realise, was that at the start of the save, I did have a 99 squad limit, which meant I could have registered all three of my squads comfortably and had the whole team to play from but I didn't think to do that so I restricted myself quite a bit so come the 1st of August as well I will have my entire roster to choose from quite looking forward to that because we have had a few players who are tired who need resting so there's Damba doing his defensive duties as well there they had the free kick highlight didn't come to anything fortunately for us 20 minutes left on the clock hopefully we'll just play to see this one out Might even drop back from an attacking mentality to a balance just to stop us overloading. But Chiang Mai are in our half, play it back to the defenders, and then they go try to go route one. Goes to our keeper who does exactly the same. Damba lays it off. Jitin Jong tries to shut straight the goalkeeper there. Quite a lot of these chances are coming to nothing. Our shot map is funny. Normally it's peppered with shots from this kind of distance around the outer edge of the box. But today we have actually been in that box. So let's see what happens here. Goalie kicks it long, comes straight back with the ball over the top. Squared it, defence gets a good block in. And the ball comes over the top again. Goalies come rushing out for it. Not too sure what happened there. And there's a VAR check because the goalie got caught in no man's land. And when the ball fell, he tucked it away. But luckily for us, it's a disallowed goal, which doesn't happen too often in the highlights. I thought there was a um, pretty much guarantee that when it goes to those reviews, it will be given. But no, it seems that he was offside. So since we've dropped the tempo off a little bit, we are not looking quite as dangerous. But then we've got the ball down the wing there. And my Damba cuts inside. There's a left-footed shot that goes over the bar. So we've got seven minutes left on the clock. Comfortably going to be through in the League Cup. It's good to have got that rotation in as well. Knowing that that important Champions League game, which is... Finally balanced with the 2-2 draw in the first leg. We have got the advantage of the away goals, luckily. 
but fingers crossed, get through the rest of this game unscathed, put the first team back in and then go and really give that a good run. So yeah, three minutes left on the clock. I've had a total of 28 shots, 12 on target, XG of 2.74. Restricted them to just three shots on target. It's been an impressive performance, even if it was against the team that is a division below us. And by looking at their formation, they've pretty much set up to counter-attack and we haven't really let them do that, so that's quite positive. So look forward to uh, seeing who we get in the next round of that cup on the subject of cups i'm gonna jump out here forward to the champions league game and then jump back in once we're ready to play that back in the set okay so jumped on forward to the all sand game this is the team we're going to be putting out we've got some of our first teamers back panier's back after his ankle ligament strain sepovic is going to go up front although if he's not performing, might look at bringing Jaded on midway through the game. Alawi and Gallo in the middle. So back to strong first team lineup. Hopefully, having that bit of rotation will help us with freshness because it's something we've been struggling with in the past couple of weeks. Partly my own fault because I didn't register up to 99 players that I could which means that some players have had to have rests, missed training, and then some picked up injuries and knocks and that kind of stuff, so season wear and tear. So here we go, about to get Champions League second round knockout game, leg two underway, the 2-2 draw from the first game. Hopefully we can continue our dominant form from the past couple of games. We've got early clip here with Gallo pumping the ball out wide. Get the ball into the box. And Moanta took a shot low to the goalkeeper's left to score his 12th goal of the season. He's been one of the star performers of the save so far. It's a great ball inside. And first time down low beats the goalkeeper. He's one of the players though that has suffered quite a lot. This season with the um, needing to be rotated. He's the one who's been away and had to rest up during the weeks. Can't do too much training. Can't play two games a week. Although at a young age, uh, I suppose those members of the squad who are young age, who have been first teamers, that is to be expected. Hopefully being able to play in the two games a week. And as I'm talking, Marco Sepovic has scored. Let's make it 2-0. In the home leg, we have a 4-2 advantage. And this is going very well in the first 10 minutes. But saying that, we had a two-goal head start in the away leg too. I managed to fluff our line, so fingers crossed we won't do that. But yeah, going back to Moanta, his player is just needed looking after a little bit, and the younger players probably do. So fingers crossed he'll, he'll develop. That stamina will come on as the game comes on. So here we go. Marco Sepovic has got the ball. He's running at the defenders. Crosses it in, but nobody in the box really. A bit of a hit and hope. It's come down as a shot off target, but I'd hope that was a cross because it's terrible if it was a shot. And the play rolls on. So in the first leg, like I said, we had the two goal head start in the first half and then things kind of fell apart, but here yeah, Ulsan haven't got into the game really. They haven't found any kind of rhythm and we're the ones that are dominating. Although they have another clip as the ball comes in. And it goes out of play for a goal kick. And we worried for a second. I thought that was just going to creep inside the post. But look at the goalkeeper seems to have it covered. So yeah, pretty much getting on top here. Possession state is pretty even but. Uh, shots and shots on target are saying that we're good value for our two goal lead. Again, not even half time. Moanta's looking like he needs to be changed. Pania, as I said, has come back as well from ankle ligament strain, so might have to 
keep a watchful eye on him. But so far, after 36 minutes, it's nothing like the first leg where all Sam were completely in the game all the way up until the end. But they have a throw in. They've worked their way into the middle of the park where Pania steals the ball. He's going to try to beat two players, but instead has a shot from distance. And back to this shot map where most of our shots are coming from outside the box. All Sam, though, have got a free kick. Chipped it over the wall. Header was not on target. Luckily, it stays 2 0 just for half time. A couple of minutes left on the clock. So, two added minutes. I'd say that's a pretty good first half performance. Got a two goal advantage, plus two goals from the away leg. Puts us in a really good position. Not going to make any changes just yet, even though Ranta is the one I think I'm going to have to really look at soon. So, balls pumped forwards from the goalie. Only goes as far as our defender who turns it around. Ball over the top from Wanta. Sarah chat at the back post. Probably should have scored, but it was a great save by the keeper. Now we've got a corner that gets swung in. Not very good. It's cleared away. They get over the halfway line. Alalawi jumps in there. That was a bit dangerous. He's already on a booking. So not liking the look of that. But we get away with it. Clip ends with them breaking up the touch line. So obviously didn't come to anything. I think we are going to make that first change. And I think... Not Sarah Chat. Moanta's going to come off. Just look after him a little bit. Got a long way to go yet. And don't really want to burn him out too quickly in the season. Don't really want to keep sending him away from training either. So hopefully... In 45 minutes off, be all right. And we got a clip here where Pania broke down the right, crossed it in. Sepovic was there, but it was a good save by the keeper. So this is very impressive. In the first leg by now, Olsan had managed to keep themselves in the game. And there we were. Like I said, 2-0 down, but managed to pull it back by turning things around in this section of the game here whereas it looks like we're playing really really strong had a usual double, high double digit of shots shots on target today has been quite good our xg is 2.17 which is good with the two goal lead uh, possession is starting to creep up 56 percent now for us and we have a corner that comes in What's happened here? There's a handball in the box. We've got a penalty. Who's going to take it? It's Sepovic. Puts it straight down the middle. It's 3-0. Surely that's us through into the next phase of the Champions League. I don't think Gorsan can come back from that. Technically, with our two goals, they're going to need four. Four in half an hour against our defence. It's quite compact. Plays quite well. Can't see it happening really, but this is Football Manager, so crazy things have happened. Over we on the attack again. Alalawi's had a shot from distance, dragged it just wide of the keeper's left hand side, our right hand side post. And uh, yeah, our shot map again is looking as if we're just peppering the goal. But it's actually also they've got a corner, they've had a chance. I think he's hit the post and then defenders cleared it away. And they swing it in again. Managed to clear that away and Sepovic is onto it. Not very pacey as a player, Sepovic, who checks back inside. Plays it off to Gallo. Plays it to Alawi. And then working it into the box. Oh, goes down. No penalty given. Kelic picks the ball up on the halfway line and we start to come forwards. Looking at that, Alawi's on a booking. Don't want to be taking risks with him. So we are going to make a change. Just to preserve him. 
Oh, in fact, I've took off Gallo, haven't I? I thought it was the other central midfielder. Oh, well, both of them were on bookings anyway, so I've managed to preserve one. But Alawi, I think, is running around. Looks a bit like headless chicken, so fingers crossed it doesn't do anything too silly. I think now with little time left on the clock, we're going to drop back to balance like in the last game. However, on the attack, and Alawi is forced to keep him to the save, and then it's crossed back in, and Panya is there. Can it Panya with his fifth goal of the season? Turned out to be quite a steal as a player, of Canit Panya. Apart from his injuries, he's been a consistent performer. Nice header there. Beats the goalkeeper. Gives him no chance. 4-0 on the night. 6-2 on aggregate. I can safely say that we're looking at the next round of the Champions League. So, if 77 on the clock. Actually going to make one more change, I think. Yeah, we are going to bring Kaprom on. For Sarah Chat. Looking quite tired out there. I know we've got play other players that are tired, but defensively we're not very sound up from the bench. So I'd rather preserve my wingers. And then we've just dialed it back to balance for the mentality just to see the game out. We're absolutely dominated with 25 shots, 16 on target. XG is mirroring our goals, 3.29. We've scored four. Jaded's on the run again. He's had a shot from distance. And straight at the goalkeeper who just collects that one pretty simple. So it's when it comes off. Seems like we're a well functioning team, just missing maybe one or two links. Maybe a pair of fresh legs up front. Having said that, we have scored again, and I'm glad that I didn't take Al Alawi off because he's just forced the goalkeeper into an own goal. He's had a shot from distance, bounced back off the post, hit the goalkeeper, and gone in, so made it 5 0. And also on the attack. He's had a shot from about 40 yards out. Goalkeeper's gone down. Picked the ball up. Taking his time now. For lobbing it back at the defence. Also knocking it around for lumping it forwards. Nodded back. Jaded's moving forwards. Quay Prom beats his man. Has a shot. Just dragged it wide. Unlucky it would have been a decent goal if that would have gone in. So into the added on time, got a throw in, gets cleared. He's actually kicked it straight back out for another throw in. Throw it in. Gonna work our way across. Panya's there, he's had a shot. It's deflected, but he was offside anyway, it doesn't matter. Four time missile's gone. And we are in the next round of the Champions League, which is very impressive. End up winning 7-2 on aggregate, 5 nil on the night. It's been a brilliant performance. Very proud of the two performances in this video. Both the cup game, scoring four. Champions League game, scoring five. Can't ask for more than that. So if you've enjoyed that, it's been brilliant. If you think it's worth a thumbs up on the video, please do that. Hit the subscribe button. That'd be much appreciated as well. We are going to skip forward into the game. So yeah, going to skip forward into the game. Not too sure. Oh, here we go. So Champions League quarterfinal is down here on the 25th of August, which means that at that point as well, the cham uh, the sorry, the transfer window will be open. So I might skip forwards to there. Do that as kind of a Champions League slash transfer special episode. Yeah, I think we'll do that. So again, thanks again for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment down below if there's anything you want to see in the channel. 
Thanks again to Preset Kits for the kits in our save. If you need anything for them, that link is in the description below. Until the next video, guys, stay safe. Thanks for watching.